My name is David. I'm a pastor for Creative Arts. I was originally using Google Drive and switched to OneDrive. If you want more reviews like this, click the link below. Both of these online storage services help us to collaborate between the office and home and even between our volunteers and those who are on staff. Uh, everybody needs to access files from different places. And so both of these products provide that opportunity. OneDrive is best for those who live and work in the Microsoft environment. If you're using Word documents and Excel spreadsheets exclusively, uh, the OneDrive storage solution is a way to keep everything saved and backed up in the cloud. And it gives you plenty of space for dumping photos and other files too. Google Drive is best for those who live and work in the Google environment. So if you're using Gmail and Google Calendar exclusively, then having a Google Drive account and then paying for the extra storage is pretty important. That way you can keep everything centralized. Getting started with Google Drive was pretty easy because I was using Gmail. And so because it already functions with those services, uh, it wasn't hard to adjust to recognizing it as a storage space. It was also pretty easy to get used to using OneDrive because I was using Microsoft Word all the time to write documents. And so once I started saving them online uh, and then realizing that OneDrive was the way that that happens, it was pretty easy to see the other uses I could have for those products. The top considerations when looking at these software solutions is basically which environment are you going to live in? If you're committed to Google and all of the Google products, then Google Drive is probably going to be the direction you want to go, uh, more exclusively maybe. But if you live and work in a Microsoft environment where you're using Outlook and Word and Excel, then maybe OneDrive is the way to go to, to be more exclusive there. Uh, for persons like me who have folks using both products, I have to kind of navigate both. It's important to remember that OneDrive includes a lot more storage at a lower price point once you factor it all out. Uh, Google, it costs a little bit more to have the more storage but so many folks are using Google that sometimes it's worth it to pay into that as well.